So I just beat my first From Software game, Elden Ring. And we are less than a week away from the Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC dropping this Friday. So right now we're going to react to an Elden Ring movie, The Lord of Frenzied Flame by Vadi Vidya. Bruh! It's Mike, man. And yo, we're going to react to an Elden Ring movie, The Lord of Frenzied Flame. Let's see what this video is talking about, man. You know, man. The lands between the ruined, mired in torment and despair. Is there really anything here worth fighting for? Is there any one worth saving? I forgot her name. Hello? Is somebody there? My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn mm. to the south. My good father secreted me out the oh, castle, I remember this mission. but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander, the servants there have rebelled. Filled with hatred for Sheesh. every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I... I fear for father's life. And my soul wishes that he escape. The slaves of Castle Morn are misbegotten. Their very existence is considered to be a punishment. But their only crime was being born outside of grace. So, it's no wonder that hatred has fermented in their hearts, inspiring them to finally break free of their masters. The next step in a cycle of revenge that began at Castle Morn long ago. I see. From Arena. Thank you. I'm in your debt, but I can't leave yet. Even if the castle should fall, as commander, I must remain to ensure the treasured Sword of Morn does not fall into the wrong hands. Ages ago, a lone champion fought at Castle Morn. His entire clan had been vanquished, but he grafted their swords onto his own and continued to fight. So determined was he to claim his revenge. And so, this became the legendary sword of Castle Morn. Wait. It was claimed by the banished knights of Godric, stolen by a misbegotten, and then passed down to you. You can fight with that NPC, bro? And with it, the cycle of revenge continues. An eye for an eye. Mm. I'm in your debt for keeping the sword from those fallen creatures. Okay, so that's why, like, the misbegotten are like, uh. Oh my gosh! I forgot what I was gonna say, bro. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep going, bro. I think that's. Oh, that's why the misbegotten, like, behave like this. I'm no longer bound by duty. Once I've rescued Arena, I will spend my remaining days with her. Oh yeah, she did get killed when we when we came back for her. Oh yeah. Greena. How could this be? My daughter deserved better. The fault lies with me. I chose duty over my daughter's safety. And that is how fate has answered. I'll find them. The foul wretch is responsible for this. I'll hunt them down and exterminate every last one of them. Rest assured, Arena, it will be done. You're a tarnished. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Then why not purchase a little something? I am Kale, purveyor of fine goods. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. 
There are others of my people who yet survive in these lands. If the mood takes you and you meet one, then offer them some trade, won't you? My people, wanderers all have long been spurned by the grace of gold, which is why we cannot settle, but instead are forced into this pitiful, unceasing journey. But thanks to that, things are not so different for us now. I think this makes us kindred spirits of sorts. Your people, the tarnished, and mine. See that no harm comes to my kin. Bro, this cinematic yeah, saying, is amazing. We wanderers, lament not your solitude. Expect no sympathy, no regard, nothing. How did they make but this? If anyone dares harm us, show them no mercy. That is our code, so to speak. Just the way we are. Deeply unforgiving. Deep within the eyes. Of Wait, the, the Mercers can do that? A secret is hidden. Deeply unforgiving, indeed. But I've done all I can here. I'm thinking of moving elsewhere for a time. Bro, the wind so outside far, is crazy. We've spoken of misbegotten, banished knights, tarnished, and merchants. All were spurned by grace in one way or another. You can't go too far without wondering if the Golden Order is to blame for the oceans of anger and despair. When we last met Edgar, he swore revenge upon the misbegotten. We, oh, we have to but fight now, him again? All must die. We'll fight him. Misbegotten or not. Oh. And if you defeat Edgar, you will receive a Shabriri grape. It's our proof that his need for revenge no longer divides or distinguishes. Love, revenge, melt it all away in the yellow chaos flame. Madness. But there are those who fight against the tarnished who stalk their own. Yura, the hunter of bloody fingers, oh, Yura, will yeah. often be oh, yeah, at your died. side. Yura was so cool. Got the Nagakiba. Yura comes from the land of reeds, a place that has long been locked in a miserable civil war. And it's said that the entire nation has succumbed to a blood-soaked madness. It's not too surprising then that Yura fights against any blood craze tarnished, whether they serve the Lord of Blood or otherwise. But Yura's true mark is a Drake Knight named Eleonora, located at the Second Church of America, yep, with the poor where blade. she kills Yura yep. in cold blood. Once, Eleonora had a legacy as a proud knight, but because of her dragon communion, it seems her humanity has slipped away. Mm. So you put that legacy to rest. By now, it should be clear that madness takes many forms. Hello? Is someone there? My name is Hayata, and I'm journeying in search of the distant light. If I might be so bold as to ask, would you donate any Shabriri grapes in your possession to me? I don't she remember. looks like Arena, but Does Arena is dead. Yeah. Somehow, this Hayata has taken over that body. But for what purpose? Just like she uh, barely even knows herself. Bro, just like uh Oh, what's his name? What's his name? I remember him saying, May chaos take the world. What's his name? He said his name. He took over Yura's body. Um did it start with an S? Oh, I forgot his name. Dang, I forgot his name, bro. It's not coming I can to feel me. a distant light in the back of my eyes. It will lead me to my true duty as a finger maiden. You're not like the others who give me grapes, are you? They rest their trembling hands upon me. Howling wordlessly, they gently stroke my eyes. Their frail fingers, emaciated. Well, she's a finger maiden? still, they give me the grapes, but you seem somehow firmer now i can feel the distant light once more that aside i wonder what shabriri grapes really are 
delectably tender and sweet, yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. Of course, the Shabriri grapes are eyes, yellow, shriveled, and oozing. That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own. So those noises I heard were... <laughs> what is that symbol? What the freak? Oh no, I hate that place. Shabriri. The most reviled man in all of history. Shabriri. It all began long ago. What's his name? Shabriri? Of slander. Shabriri came up with a lie, and it was so damaging, so heinous, oh that his eyes were gouged out as a punishment when that lie was proven to be false. And those are Shabriri grapes? can't be sure of what was said, but what if Shabriri slandered the nomadic merchants? What if, with a crooked smile, he accused them of the very crime he himself was guilty of, saying that they had fraternized with the three fingers and were not to be trusted. This would explain why the nomadic merchants came to be so hated. It is said, after all, that the sickness of the Flame of Frenzy began with Shabriri. Mm. And after his eyes were gouged out, the blight of the Flame of Frenzy came to dwell in his empty sockets. Yellow eyes became known as Shabriri grapes, and frenzy started to infect the despairing world. A madness that belongs to those who have lost everything. Why you look familiar? Ah, by the way, well, even we had a place to call home once. The Great Caravan, they called it. But it's been lost to us for ages. Lindell. I've been searching for it as long as I can remember. And with a name like that, you'd hope they kept some fine goods there, eh? I've always preferred my own company to that of other people's. And I don't have any burning questions I wish to ask my ancestors. But there's something I need to know. My roots. I want to know who I am. Where I came from. Where I'm headed. I hope you can join me at the Great Caravan, in fact. Who knows what wonders there might be to trade. If Shabriri did indeed slander the merchants, then he knew exactly what their despair might bring. I think I'm kind of lost with the merchants thing, how the merchants are connected a little bit. I think I missed uh. that. Is that you over there? I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat. The distant light is far and frail, so faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But with everyone's eyes together, it appears. Finally, it all makes sense. I'm certain now. Oh, that's... That's the place... Finger maiden. That was the place uh, in Liernia, I, I believe, where, like... There's like a uh, uh, three mages like oh my gosh the wind is bro but anyway anyway where the three mages were like creating this like madness and it was corrupting like the rats over there uh, and whenever you um like go to that place like the madness meter builds up for you could you donate a fingerprint grape to me they're special grapes, which only grow on those who've been clasped by the burnt fingers. Fingerprint. We only know of one other who was clasped in such a manner. His name was Vike, the Dragon Spear. After the war with the ancient dragons, there came the rise of the dragon cultists, who earned the dragon's affection. One of the most beloved was Vike the Dragon Spear, a tarnished descended from Godfrey who eventually returned from across the sea hmm. to join the Round Table Hold in hopes of becoming Elden Lord. I don't remember his to name, To this end, Vike? Vike was assigned a finger maiden 
and acquired the power of two great runes. But when he stood before the thorns of the herb tree, he realized the truth, that a maiden's true purpose is to burn the thorns for the one who would become Elden Lord. And whether it was born of love or duty, Vike refused to burn his maiden, for the whisperings of Shabriri had told him of another flame. A flame of frenzy hidden deep below the capital that could burn the thorns away. But when Vike returned, his maiden was dead. Did she commit suicide after betraying her purpose? Or was Vike captured? And <coughs> My bad, I'm pausing. The only time, the only reason I pause, bro, is because I'm, you know, I, I, I'm having eureka moments. You know what I'm saying? This is the lady we uh, had to get, um, we had to do, uh, uh, I forgot his name. Bro, I'll be forgetting these NPCs' names, bro. Uh, the guy that we had to use the, you know, do the quest for to get into Moog's palace, we had to get her, her blood or something. I, I think that's what we had to do. And then I, I'm, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty sure that's what we had to do, but uh, yeah. And punished for his treason. Whatever the case, now Vike's vengeful spirit defends the dead maiden at the Church of Inhibition, mm. while the real Vike kneels imprisoned in an ever jail deep within the Forbidden Lands, clad in armor clasped by three burnt fingers. This oh. is all that remains of the contender that was supposed to become Elden Lord. I don't think I fought him. Yeah, I, I don't think I ever fought him. Bro, how was this made, bro? What do they do to, to like get these angles? Bro, what, is, what skill is that? Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, that looks crazy. Oh, y'all both heal us. Yo, what the freak? He has all these dragon skills, bro. Oh, I have that. I have that skill. I have that skill. I don't even know how I got it, but I have that skill. The incantation. to Grand Sacks? Hey, how many, bro, how many skills and incantations? Nah, that was that was awesome. I don't know how they did that. That was awesome, man. Finally, we meet the tarnish Shabriri. who would be Lord. Oh my! Why the long face? I fear that you were previously acquainted with this vessel. Well, that is most unfortunate. For he is dead. As for his flesh, he gave it to me. 
Did he really? Shabriri. I hope oh, you can make your peace with that. You are about to sacrifice something precious. The life of a fair maiden. That you would toss into the fiery forge. Only so that you may be lord. What a horrible thing to ponder. What? Your ascendancy requires her sacrifice. Whether she wishes it or not. But how would the Lord crown so be looked upon? Is it really for that reason or you chosen tarnished and would be Lord dare to tread the path of true rigor? Spare the poor girl and singe your own flesh in her stead. Is it really for that if you reason are though? Prepared to show resolve and attain lordship through righteous hardship. Then heed the words of I, Shabriri. Chosen, tarnished, and would-be lord, descend into the depths far below the Erd Tree capital. Seek audience with the three fingers and the flame of frenzy. Mm. If you inherit the flame of frenzy, your flesh will serve as kindling. Burn. The earth tree Bro, look at his to the ground and incinerate all that divides and distinguishes. Ah, oh, may chaos take the world. May, may chaos, chaos take, take the world. Oh, Shabriri is chaos. I cannot die. <sighs> May chaos. Oh no. The world. Oh no. If you intend to claim the frenzied flame. I ask that you cease. It is not to be meddled with. It is chaos, devouring life and thought unending. However ruined this world has become, however mired in torment and despair, life endures. Births continue. There is beauty in that. Mm. Is there not? Yeah. If you would become Lord, do not deny this notion. Oh, Please, snap. leave the frenzied flame alone. There's a secret passage in the sewers? And maybe you would have left it alone. Were it not for the horrors that you found down there. Oh snap. Did you see? What they did to my ancestors. Mm. The whole clan buried alive. Are these all Sick. merchants? Maddened. Husks these are, of themselves. These are all merchants. If you heard their moans, they're hardly human anymore. Mm. They think we worship the three fingers that we called the maddening sickness down upon them. Well, if that's what they expect from us, then that's what they shall get from us! Wait, the world of grace and his people Wait, I'm kind of confused a little bit. Is, is the reason why the merchants are, like, um, being slaughtered or, um, you know, shunned or what, you know, whatever... Is because they are all able to like use the frenzied flame. I'm kind of confused. I kind of got lost in the like merchant part. Um, are they like ancestors? I don't know. I, I I have no idea. You know, somebody in the comments can clear it up for me, bro. But uh, yeah, I'm lost on that that part. I've been content to see us sink between the cracks. But to have intruded upon our solace, having broken us upon their whims, I'll never 
never forgive any of you. Any of who? We won't be training any longer. All the screams. Wait. Who's that? That burn. Your eyes. You've inherited the flame of frenzy. Unknown warrior. Why is it? Divest yourself of everything. Our three fingers so wide the door. Can do this. Now that look ugly. Please, a frenzied flame to melt away the curses, suffering, and despair, and the order entire. What is he doing? Melt away the curses, suffering. Oh, nah. Who will die entire? May chaos take the world. May chaos take the world. So now he has the frenzied flame? Is this this um triggers a, an ending, right? The um the ending where everything's like burning. Look at his burn marks. Oh, it burns. My eyes, my eyes, they're melting. <laughs> Why would you thank him? What? I have touched them. The words of the three fingers. As your maiden, allow me to divine them. All that there is came from the one great. Then came fractures, and births, and souls. But the greater will made a mistake. Torment, despair. Wait, that actually affliction, every Wait. sin, every curse, every one born of the mistake. And so what was borrowed must be returned. That actually and happens when you get the frenzy flame, you fall the in the chaos flame in the pot until all is one again. Dang, that's a that's a crazy bolt of grass. Who gave me grapes, howled without words. Saying they wish they were never born. Become their lord. Take their torment. Despair. Their affliction. Every sin. Every curse. And melt it all away. As the lord of chaos. No more fractures. No more birth. This is just... Ew. It's what it is that an eye for an eye leaves the whole world blind. You have inherited the frenzied flame. A pity. Our accord ends here. Yep, there, there's the ending. Oh, and Mel Melina said our accord ends here, so she's done with, done with him because he took this route. She's 
I'm not gonna lie, this ending looks cool as freak. Oh, there's more to this ending. Bro, I didn't see this ending in the uh, other reaction I did, so. This actually checks out. What's that? Lord of Frenzied Flame. I will seek you as far as you may travel. What do you mean by that? Yo, Melina look different. To deliver you what is yours. What does that mean? Destined death. Oh. Thank you for watching. If you want to get early access to more oh videos like my. this, then you can consider signing Dude. Melina is off her rocker. Bro, like, her hair wasn't like, um, what was it before? It was like, like, like red or not red, but like, it was a different color. It wasn't, it wasn't black. And her eye was not blue. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was a whole, looked like a whole different person, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. This cinematic was honestly awesome. Amazing, well put together. I don't know how they did these angles and all this, man. Uh, dude, this really put into perspective with the merchants, bro. Everybody in this game has like some sort of role, some sort of backstory, man. And it's so crazy, bro. That is so crazy, bro. I don't know how what they're about to do in the DLC, bro, but... Eesh. Uh, uh.